Aloha and welcome. My name is Master Paul. I'm making some final adjustments here on going live stream. Thank you for joining me. I was getting uh, set up for today and part of the opportunity or process of getting set up is to make sure my signal is strong because this is live stream. So I've made some adjustments that you probably don't care about. You just want to see a clean stream. I brought in my Guan Yin, which I picked her up. Uh, this was about, um, about 10 years ago I picked her up. This is in Northern California. She's so beautiful, isn't she? We'll see if we can set her here. See if she can bless us right here. Uh, no room, we're gonna have to put her back here. But we also have our beautiful Guan Yin behind me here. And so we'll have the greatest opportunity today to, uh, to receive blessings <clears throat> from Guan Yin. Today is very uh, powerful healing day and we will use a Guan Yin mantra as well as other uh, services related to Guan Yin, including her chanting, her mantra. We'll use the uh, uh, image behind me, which has been Kai Guang. And so we'll have a lot of opportunity today to bless and open the third eye. So welcome Stephanie, thank you for joining. Welcome Esther, thank you for joining. <clears throat> we'll continue to uh, connect as others continue to join. I think Esther, you're on the uh, Pacific time zone, right? Vancouverish area, if I uh, if I'm correct on that. Stephanie, I'm not actually sure what area you're from. Maybe the Eastern time zone, Florida, not quite sure. It's always, you know, good to know because I'm sure one of these days I'll actually meet you in person at one of the events or retreats and I would love to be able to have that connectivity and awareness <coughs> of uh, a little bit more about who you are. So let us first connect while everybody else is coming on live. Placing our hands in the soul light, soul service hand position. Dear my beloved spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah, I love you, honor you, appreciate you, I thank you. Can you please come at this time? Can you please bless this healing, teaching, and practice today on the power and significance of the third eye? There are all layers of divine Tao and source. My Shurfus from this and all lifetimes, could you please come at this time? and bless this spiritual practice as appropriate. We ask all of those that come on the line, all those that watch this, as this video is shared around the web, to please fully be present, to we ask your Heavens teams and your transmissions, downloads and treasures, to turn on as you do these practices with us so that you can receive the greatest and highest blessings. I ask all my downloads and treasures to please turn on in my Mingmen, and as I request to radiate out, to offer your blessings to all those on the line as we work through these practices to open our spiritual channels more, to open our third eye more, to receive the blessings. Give me a minute as I adjust some of the lighting. <clears throat> that should make it a little more even. I have this huge window on my right hand side and it's been raining outside. And so um, the, the clouds come and they go. So you'll see me light up and then become dark again. That's the, the nature of live streaming. We're not in a professional studio. <laughs> Welcome, Kayla. Happy that you joined us. Welcome, Kuale. Welcome, Donna Wilkinson Clark. Ah, welcome, Vanessa. Great to see you. So, <clears throat> as you can, you can tell, um, today is going to be very exciting. I'm hoping that we have a full house. Today is on the subject of the power and significance of the spiritual channel, the spiritual center known as the third eye. So before I go deep into that teaching and read some from Master Shah's book and also do a flow on it, why don't all of you share with me what your experience has been? <clears throat> Keep it in the positive. You know, I only get this is not positive. That's not honoring. So you would say something like, occasionally I get flashes, or I'm grateful to see colors, this and this and this color, or 
at this time, my third eye has not opened yet. That puts it in the positive as a possibility of happening. And then you can also, um, later through the live stream today, ask some questions if you desire. Now, for those of you that are a little bit newer to this, <clears throat> then please know that sometimes the feed cuts off and it just, it just happens. There's no, I have no control over it. So um, at that point, I will stop this and then restart it. And what you'll have to do is uh, go to your uh, Facebook page and hit refresh and you'll see my new, um, my new stream starting up. So I apologize in advance if that happens. I've done my best to try to help the technical side of it to, to be an efficient uh, stream. So thank you all again for joining. <clears throat> so the power and the significance of the third eye. Now the third eye is a spiritual interest, energy center. It is a medium According to Dr. Master Shah, as he has taught, it is a medium by which the soul world can communicate with us. There are four major energy channels, uh, major uh, communication channels, rephrase the verbiage, major communication channels. The first channel is called the soul language channel. Every soul can speak and every soul has a language and that language can be understood and translated which is the second major soul communication channel so we have the soul language channel the soul language communication channel and that's the ability in essence to hear from heaven to hear what the deities God Jesus Buddha our own soul what they have to say you've you've heard me before do many many soul readings and that is an example of communicating through the soul language channel the third is the third eye channel and the third eye channel is a, a way for heaven to communicate to us with images now uh, if you have a very very advanced third eye then it's possible you'll actually see a motion picture where you get to see a history of things or the future of things and then the fourth major channel is known as the direct knowing channel those are all deserve their own teaching. Someone can teach, and we have, an entire weekend just with one channel. Because each channel has its own uh, power and significance. The third eye is in both an inner, they have, the third eye has an energy center, and there is a third eye channel. They are two very different things. The third eye energy center is located in the center of the brain. It is associated often with what's called the pineal gland, but it is actually an energy center. It is cherry-sized, um, and it can have blockages on it. Heaven communicates to us through the different uh, um, channels that we have through our body. <clears throat> and I don't want to state it incorrectly, so I will not talk about the third eye channel because it, it, it begins at a certain point in the body, goes down through uh, certain energy centers, hits certain points, and then comes back. And I don't have it memorized, so I will not talk about that because I want to make sure that if I do explain it, that information is accurate. So, the third eye. Why is it so important? Heaven is always communicating with us. There is rarely a time when heaven is not communicating with us. Our ability to hear heaven is completely dependent upon how open our energy centers and spiritual channels are. The openness has to do with the clearing of the karmic blockages and practice. We have done so far this week on Monday we did a great deal of practice <clears throat> for um, opening the message center. Not the heart itself, but the fourth chakra, what Master Shah calls the fourth soul house, or the message center. And the message center is exactly that. It is the center that receives messages from heaven. It is the emotion center, the karma center, uh, it, it impacts our finances. There's virtually no place in life that the message center does not impact. And so we did a lot of practice and education, as well as some flows on the power and significance of that on Monday. On Tuesday, we worked on the Kundalini Center, which is related to the third eye. The Kundalini 
go back on Tuesday and watch that uh, watch that recording uh, is is um, I won't even describe where it is right now. It'll take too much time. But the Kundalini is relevant to empowering the third eye. It is one of the keys to having a, both an, an open and an empowered third eye. Welcome, Pat. Welcome, Dove. Thank you for joining. So what do I mean by that? I did not know this teaching. I give 100% credit always to my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah. He received the guidance and the wisdom and insights, both from his teachers and additional higher level wisdom and insights from the divine, about the power and significance of the Kundalini area and its associations to the third eye. The Kundalini area, when you take the time to do the uh, boosting of that at least 15 minutes every day, it feeds and nourishes the kidneys, it feeds and nourishes the brain, and it gives the, the power and the juice for the third eye to work. There are some people whose third eye is open, but they often get headaches. And that's because it is using more juice than their body is creating. And so it's very important to always empower the foundational center uh, of the Kundalini <coughs> to boost power for the obvious purposes as well as the third eye. Many people make the mistake and they, they bring their focus here into the center of their brain. That is a huge mistake. Okay, so today we're going to spend a little bit of time boosting power to the Kundalini, and then we're also going to spend some time uh, uh, in, a, in a specific Guan Yin practice. You see Guan Yin behind me here, and she is going to offer us all a blessing. This painting was Kai Gonged by a Master Shah, not once, but twice. And so it has two Kai Gongs put into it. And um, so that means, Kai Gong means, let me think of the exact verbiage. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm not correct on this exact verbiage, but I want to say blessed with light, but it's, that's not it. It's very close to that. <clears throat> so, uh, Kai Gong basically means it's oh, open, light, opened with light. And so, when we call upon a Kai Gong uh, image, for example, of Guan Yin, then there's an instant connection. And so, she has a chant and a mantra we will use today to bless. Hey, yeah, yeah, he, you. Great. Okay. Lost a little connection there. I hope it sticks around. Welcome, Jota. Welcome, Kristen. Thank you for joining today. So the third eye is very important. I hope my signal re uh, gets stronger. It shows to be pretty weak right now. <coughs> One of the big mistakes in how we generate karma is if in previous lifetimes our third eye was open, if we used our mind to answer what the third eye images were showing us, then a reasonable amount of time, what we believe the third eye was saying or what we told others, if we were, we were psychics or seers or people came to us because we were giving third eye images, <clears throat> if we... Um, have offered wrong information and it impacted people's spiritual journey or they made wrong choices which harmed them physically, emotionally, mentally or spiritually, then it absolutely impacts us negatively. It absolutely causes us to uh, not be able to open ours as much. So forgiveness practice is hugely important. The other spiritual channels that I mentioned earlier are hugely important. The reason why is because when we take time to open those, then we can receive accurate messages from heaven that go along with the third eye. So we can receive a visual image, but instead of thinking, oh, I know what that means, that's where we make the big mistake, right there. We ask our spiritual channels, can you please tell me what this means? <clears throat> and then we wait for an answer instead of assume the answer based on our mind. That's when we start getting accurate third eye readings. And that's how we can avoid karma by not offering the wrong information to people. It was very important to know this very uh, base but very important wisdom. So the major mistakes that people make around the third eye before we do the practices are number one, <clears throat> not boosting enough power 
to the foundational energy center of the Snow Mountain slash Kundalini area. Again, go back to the Tuesday recording uh, and you can see that. The second major mistake is when we do get third eye images, we assume that we know what they mean because we analyze it with our mind versus asking the soul world, can you please tell me what these images mean? So do your best to not make those mistakes. Do your practices, open your spiritual channels by opening the third eye. Come to this weekend's Open Spiritual Channels uh, um, workshop in Honolulu. It, it is called, um, I want to call it Open Spiritual Channels Extreme, <laughs> but that's not the name. But it's, it's, uh, it's going to be a very aggressive workshop. So very powerful one to come to. Hope you can make it. <clears throat> yes, thank you, Dove. That's so true. So we're going to start by, I'm going to offer a blessing that can help us to clear some of the channels that are associated with this. Then we're going to move straight into a snow mountain clearing and blessing. And then we're going to do a third eye practice together. Okay? So prepare yourself to receive a blessing. Blessing begin. Please offer blessing to assist all those on the line, all those that watch this video later, to clear whatever uh, mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs that are associated with the third eye and the lack of opening of the third eye so that they can, as appropriate, open their third eye. Blessing only as appropriate. Blessing begin. La 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 ya 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 la 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 ya he 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 this is the Divine Healing Hands book. And in this book, he has put divine transmissions. Now, for the first about 10 years, when he offered transmissions, they were all golden light ball. <clears throat> there are frequencies. There is golden, there is rainbow, there is purple, there is crystal. So purple is exceedingly high, very rare to offer purple transmissions. I remember when Master Shah transmitted these into the book so that they could later on be received and he was knocked out for a couple of days because of the power that he put into these books. It, it was a huge, huge power. So I will offer you this through the uh, divine channel that Master Shah has blessed me with for this opportunity here today. This is the purple uh, light ball and purple liquid spring of divine purification. So, sit up, feet flat on the floor, prepare yourself to receive, drop your shoulders, relax, place your hands over your lower abdomen, breathe in, bring your breath down to your lower abdomen, move to a place of attitude, 
Repeat after me, dear the Divine, dear Master Shah, I am so grateful for this opportunity to receive this purple light ball and purple liquid spring of divine purification. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Prepare to receive. Divine Order, through Master Shah's book of Divine Healing Hands, to all those that are watching this video now, and all those that will watch this video in the future, Divine Order, Divine Purple Light Ball, and Purple Liquid Spring of Divine Purification, Soul, Mind, Body, Transplants. Transmission! So I see these huge purple beings, actually. They don't look like light balls to me. They look like huge purple beings, about 200 feet tall. They, they're dressed like saints. They, they, they're, they're, it's, they're, they're saints, but they have this purple tint through them. And they're coming to each of you. They're, they're settling in your Mingmen acupuncture point. Um, and they're telling me it will take a while for them to actually shrink down to fit in there on a permanent basis but they can serve you right away and they're giving me a, a notice that they are here to create purification of your spiritual channels and that for some of you there's a possibility of an unexpected headache. So, to chant with this treasure and that will clear quickly. That's their message to you at this time. <clears throat> Join as one in the Ming Ming Point transmission. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now repeat after me. They're all my downloads and treasures, including Purple Light Ball and Purple Liquid Spring of Divine Purification. I love you, honor you, appreciate you. Please turn on. Please come to sit in my Kundalini area. Visualize, for you guys, visualize the lower, the uh, back half of your lower abdomen. Just visualize the back half of your lower abdomen. Doesn't have to be overly specific. And visualize a purple light ball about two to three inches around in the back half of your lower abdomen, just in front of the back of your spine, where the bottom of your spine is. Good. <clears throat> and we're going to chant, Divine Kundalini, visualizing the purple light ball boosting power to the area, visualizing light coming in from all directions. Let us begin. Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini. Divine Kundalini, see a gathering light from all directions, getting stronger and stronger. The whole lower abdomen is getting brighter and brighter. <coughs> Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini. Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini. Repeat after me, dear all souls, if I or my ancestors have harmed you in any way with the misuse or misinformation about the Kundalini, about the Snow Mountain area, please forgive me. 
please forgive my ancestors. I love you, and with this power I will serve better. I will serve more. Please forgive me. Thank you. Divine Kundalini, 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 Divine Kundalini. See it getting hotter, brighter, hotter, brighter, hotter, brighter. Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini. <clears throat> See the sun shining on it, shining on it, shining on it. It's creating steam all by itself. The liquid in the area, the purple liquid springs, is creating a purple liquid uh, fog, a purple liquid steam that is roiling and growing and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini. It's going up your spine, roiling purple steam up your spine. Zzz. Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini. It's going towards your third eye. Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini. It's feeding and nourishing your whole brain. It's just sucking it in. It's energy food for your brain, your third eye. Divine Kundalini. Keep your focus in your Divine Kundalini. Just notice the steam, the purple steam going up to your third eye. Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini. Silently continue to chant Divine Kundalini. You see the purple liquid spring, purple light ball spinning, spinning, purifying, 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 and it's creating more and more purple steam that is just rising up. And it's just feeding and nourishing the brain and the third eye. Oh, they're so happy. Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini. Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini, Divine Kundalini. Purple light ball, purple liquid springs. 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 Divine Kundalini, purple light ball, purple liquid springs. Divine Kundalini, purple light ball, purple liquid springs. Repeat after me. Dear my divine purple light ball and purple liquid springs of uh, purification and all of my downloads and treasures, please continue to boost power to my kundalini area for the entire time of this practice. I am very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How? Okay. So please share. I see uh, Kristen shared that upon the receipt of that transmission that there is like an instant a uh, little odd like little odd headache like a zzz. yeah and that can happen when we receive these very powerful powerful transmissions each of master shah's transmissions would take the average uh monk the average person that is practicing day after day after day six hours a day for their whole life they might create a light ball that's the size of a dime. That's it. The whole life, focusing and practicing, a light ball the size of a dime. In one order, Master Shah has given you a purple light ball that would take that same monk practicing 20 years, excuse me, 20 lifetimes, to, to build the same size ball you just received. We receive it so easily, we receive it so effortlessly, and our third eyes, most of this is not open, so we can't see it. We can't fathom the, the, the gift, the, the incredible generosity of Master Shah to bring these gifts from heaven to earth for the purpose of opening our spiritual channels, clearing the darkness so we can return to the heart of the divine. That's why every gift was brought to earth through Master Shah, for that one single purpose, clearing the darkness, returning back to the heart of the divine. 
So now we're going to do a practice. It's a Guanyin based practice to help open our third eye actively and naturally. <clears throat> now, our mind, we want to keep our mind in our lower abdomen. We're going to continue to focus on our Kundalini area, which again is in the back part of the lower abdomen. Okay? I'm not going to go into specific teaching today. Body power. Where you're at, do this. Touch your fingers together, your palms together. <clears throat> your hands are relaxed. And then roll them around like that. Okay? It's going to be just like that. And this is like a lotus petal. And what you're going to do is you're going to naturally drop your shoulders and then you're going to drop in front of your chest. You don't want to push it up against your chest. Just naturally drop. Okay? This is a mudra position that assists in naturally opening the third eye and the message center, which is related to our spiritual channels opening naturally. This is a very powerful body power. <clears throat> For sound power, we are going to use a Guanyin mantra. Now, I'm not in a position where I can write this down. I don't have my computer open to write it down. So if one of you want to type it for others to see, you can do that. I would appreciate it. I'm going to give one person the request. Um, Kristen, I'm going to ask you to do this because um, you might not know it, but uh, I know that you're present and that you'll, you'll write it. I don't want to have seven people write it. It's called Wong Ma Ni Ba Ma Hong. Wong, W-E-N-G. Ma, M-A, Ni, N, E E Wong Ma Ni Ba B A Ma M A Hong Wong W E N G Ma Ni M A Ni is N E E Wong Ma Ni Ba Ma B A M A two different words Hong H O N G Wong Ma Ni Ba Ma Hong Good enough Thank you Kay uh, Kayla So the spelling is not so relevant the sound power is semi-relevant. Guan Yin knows. Okay? So we can chant that. All right. Thank you so much for joining, Monica. And let us <coughs> connect now. We have the sound power of Wong Mani Ba Mahong. We have the body power. We will now connect to the soul. Close your eyes. Connect. Dear beloved Guan Yin. Dear 87 Buddha, Dabe Jo, I love you, honor you, appreciate you, thank you. Could you please come to be with me at this time? Please bless me to open my third eye and clear my third eye channel so that I can be a better servant. Thank you. Dear the mantra, Wong Ma Ni Ba Ma Hong, I love you. Can you please bless me for the same thing? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now we do a quick forgiveness. Dear all souls, if in this or any lifetime I or my ancestors have misused the third eye, or taught others wrong information about how to open their third eye, or have forced them to close it through wrong information, wrong sharing. If I have given people wrong information because I did not understand the message correctly. I truly, deeply apologize. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And by the way, thank you for the spelling. I am familiar that that is the correct spelling. However, for somebody new, they would not pronounce N-I as Ni. So I asked for the spelling phonetically, so anybody new coming along would get that right. But I appreciate everybody's accuracy. Keep your eyes closed. 
Smile as you do this. Remember, you are relaxed. Keep your mind in your snow mountain kundalini area. <clears throat> Let us begin. Wong mani ba ma hong. 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 Continue to chant. Give the soul of the Kai Gong blessing in the painting behind me. Could you please radiate your blessings to all those in line, all those that watch after this, to assist them in this practice? Wong mani ba ma hong. 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 Slowly. Wong mani ba ma hong. 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 With all your love for Guan Yin's blessings. Wong mani ba ma hong. 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 Focus on your lower abdomen. Wong mani ma ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong. 
Wangmani ba ma hong, 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 Wangmani ba ma hong. Wong mani ba ma hong, wong mani ba ma hong, wong mani ba ma hong, wong mani ba ma hong. Silently, continue to chant. Silently, visualizing the purple liquid springs, purification, adding light to your kundalini area. Creating the purple steam that is rising up. Continue to chant. Om Mani Bama Ho. 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 Notice how hot you are getting. It's only been five minutes. Continue to chant. Wangmani ba ma hong. 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 Om Mani 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 Ba Ma Hong. Continue to chant silently, visualizing a hundred-leaf lotus flower in your Kundalini area. Beautiful radiant lotus with a purple light ball and purple liquid spring sitting in the middle of it. The radiant 100 petal lotus has this purple liquid spring right in the very center shooting up. And there's a purple light ball that is sitting in the middle of that spring spinning around. And the purple liquid falls down around the sides of the lotus and creates a lake. And this beautiful lotus is floating in the purple liquid spring lake. And it is so hot that purple steam is rising up. This beautiful light is coming from the purple light ball creating such heat and steam that the purple steam becomes so full, so condensed, that it is just making the whole area of your back warm, bright, incredible. See the steam rising up your spine. See the steam clearing the blockages all the way up your spine, feeding and nourishing the brain and the third eye. Feeding and nourishing the sixth soul house. Feeding and nourishing your kidneys, your spinal column. The beautiful light ball radiates through this entire lower abdomen, purifying, 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 spinning, spinning, the liquid springs continuing to create incredible steam roiling up the spine, clearing the blockages in the third eye. Wong mani ba ma hong, 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 
Wong mani ba ma hong, Wong mani ba ma hong, Wong mani ba ma hong, Wong mani ba ma hong, Wong mani ba ma hong, Wong mani ba ma hong. Now close your hands together in the prayer position. Bow your head nine times with deepest gratitude to beloved Guan Yin, to 87 Buddha. Bow your head to the mantra, Wong Mani Ba Ma Hong, to the countless saints, the countless saints animals, and all those that came at this time. Please share any third eye images that you might have seen, even if it was color, one picture only, if it was a movie show, share that. If you saw anything, please share. If you felt anything, please share. I will now do a flow and share with you what I saw. This is Lingue Shang Shur Guan Yin. It is my deepest and highest honor to serve the one known as Master Sha. As a student of Master Sha, I too am always learning. One of the great features of the mantra that was given to me by my teacher to serve humanity is that the more who chant it, the more the power. For all of you, my 87 Buddha incarnations came. They blessed each of you. They cleared substantial blockages in your third eye channel and in the area associated with the pituitary gland. For two of you, there was substantial karma in the third eye area associated with lifetimes of wrong spiritual discipline in which you used this area to serve the darkness. I was not allowed to clear all of that, but in the Divine's generosity, there was substantial blessings offered <clears throat> such that you could do more practice and more forgiveness and you could receive great results. The Kundalini area received huge benefits, especially because of the purple light ball and purple liquid spring. This purification transmission in all life ever has never been transmitted to any souls ever until it was brought to earth through the one known as Master Shah. You are beyond blessed to have received this. I can tell you there is no list that can be long enough to fit all the names of all those in heaven who would line up for the opportunity to receive the treasure you so easily received. Be sure to use it often to serve both yourself and to serve others. This is not limited to the third eye, but you can use it for your message center to offer healing. You can use it when you are going through emotional suffering. You can use it for just about anything as its powers are unlimited. During this practice today, because of the Kaigong blessing in the painting behind this one speaking, tremendous additional saints, heavens, animals, and calligraphies came to all those who have watched this and will watch this in the future and cleared additional blockages in your message centers that would have disallowed the opportunity for fuller opening of your spiritual channels in this lifetime, that alone would have taken the average adept up to 10 lifetimes of practice to clear on their own. This practice and the power of the tools used 
have easily saved all of you 10 lifetimes of dedicated service. You are very blessed. This is beloved Ling Wei Sheng Shi Guan Yin. How? Let us bow our heads to our beloved Guan Yin for this beautiful uh, sharing. Truly remarkable. You know, when I do the, when I do the flow, um, I'm hearing her say, you know, this amount of practice was saved, this many years was saved. And I'm just like amazed, truly amazed. Because I had no idea the Kaigon blessing in this brought with it um, saints and six animals and calligraphies. Not until she said that. And I had no idea that because of that, that was the kind of blessing we received. That was just huge. Thank you, Guan Yin. Thank you to the countless saints and, and the saints animals. This is so, so generous, you know, just so generous. Thank you. Okay, so let us, let us do some uh, reading. Um, Kristen, I have a Kai Guang blessed crystal lotus. It appeared in my hands as we chanted. Very beautiful. Oh, that's a great sharing, Kristen. Yeah, that would be beautiful, huh? And then Monica. And you know, if you have one of those, Kristen, why not place it in your palms when you're doing a practice of this nature? It's already uh, blessed. As a Kai Gong, it can only assist a hundred thousand times more. So give that a try next time you do the practice. Um, uh, Monica says, Dear Master Peter, I love that you do that. It's such a blessing. Every time you do that, you, you place Master Peter's name when you mean mine. Just a huge blessing. I'm so grateful for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I felt all uh, subtle energy blessings, uh, shuttle energy shower. It was very beautiful. I'm extremely grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then uh, Monica was on to say thank you so much for explaining how the purple spring is around the purple light ball um, and, and uh, the eye. Yeah, I actually didn't know that either. That's the images I was receiving as I was doing the practice. It's just so uh, extraordinary. And I highly recommend you visualize that as you turn it on and use it for, you can put it in your message center. Dear the uh, divine purple liquid ball, purple light ball and purple liquid spring of purification. Please come to Sina my message center. Help me to purify this area. And then visualize that, right? And the liquid springs is purifying everything. Wonderful visualization. Okay, Nestor shares, I feel like energy around the lower part of my head and a purple light. Wonderful sharing. And Katie says, countless bow downs, countless bow downs. Kristen says, I will, using the, the Kaigon crystal. So excellent sharing. Uh, thank you so much. What I was feeling uh, immediately, actually, upon the initiation of the chant, I felt all the 87 Buddhas all around. And um, immediately there, they do a lot of work on my head, the upper part of my face, always. That's my, that's my physical representation of their presence. And sometimes I have to scratch my nose because they're just zzz, zzz, itching my, my, my uh, sinus cavity where a great deal of my blockages are. Purifying, of course. <clears throat> and um, so when we uh, are doing a practice of this nature and we call forth these holy beings, no question asked, they are present. Master David, uh, in 2008, when I first saw him, he, he had been a, d a divine channel, I think, maybe a year. And he had long hair down to the middle of his back. He, um, he had a goatee, a uh, full-on, I mean, long goatee. And, um, and his third eye was not open. But he practiced, and he practiced every day. And now, look at how powerful his third eye is. Master Peggy, two hours a day. She did the uh, five horses. Uh, with Master Sha, and that is on the chanting channel very often. And um, there's a, it's actually a little bit harder to find. I know that there is activity in the works, uh, whether it's completed or not, for for more um, visualizations using that practice. Um, but when it comes, it comes. If you ever get a chance to watch it on the chanting channel, make sure that you uh, you do the practice with it because that's huge for opening the third eye. And so to reiterate, the two things <clears throat> that you always want to be uh, conscientious of with the third eye, um, and prior to that, there's two aspects to the third eye. There's the third eye energy center itself, the center of the brain. And then there's the third eye channel, which I did not talk about because I do not have, do not have enough memorization and education 
to speak, so I will not at this time. And, um, but both are very relevant. So if you ever get the opportunity to clear the channel uh, or to have a new third eye, by all means do so. Very often we have karma in both of these areas that inhibit us from opening these spiritual communication uh, opportunities. The second is, don't be in such a rush to bring your thoughts, intentions, and visualizations up here. Master Francisco taught us many times, when he is receiving third eye images, his mind is actually in his kundalini point, his Ming Min area. That's where he puts his mind and he sees. And ever since I heard him say that about two years ago, I started doing the same. And that's when I started being able to get a bit more images. Now for me, my third eye kind of comes when it wants to. Um, and it comes more like snapshots. I'll get a snapshot or two or three, and then I'll ask, what, what does this mean? The way heaven has prepared me is they did not allow my third eye to, to, to pop open until about uh, three or four years ago. And uh, even then it was little by little by little. They forced me to practice a lot of soul reading, a lot of soul reading, hearing heaven directly. And what that a gift from heaven was, is it allowed the accuracy of the information. So when I did get third eye images, instead of my mind getting involved, I could ask, what does this mean? And I had far better information with accuracy to share. So we all love third eye images, but just know that if you do not boost your foundational energy center, you're probably not going to have very good results and very likely could have headaches. Okay? Um, so this weekend, my, uh, my suggestion is to, is to come to the Honolulu webcast. It is um, $125 for uh, Saturday and Sunday with a guest pass. So that's $60 per day. If you have a guest, that's $30 per day. Um, very affordable because literally it's in a Dao Chong room. So you're getting massive blast the whole time. There's a calligraphy on the wall while they're doing the entire webcast. So you can just sit there and trace it the whole time. Get huge blessings that way. And um, they will be offering blessings, of course, the whole time, doing lots of practices. That's when most people's spiritual channels pop open, is when you're in an, an intense retreat of that nature. And for $30 a day, I truly, you just, you just you can't find it anymore. Master uh, Hamena is the lead teacher, and she is a D Shin. That is one step below the Dao Shin. I mean, the, uh, that is just extraordinary to have her there. Master Lena is one of the highest calligraphers on the planet, and it's highly likely she will offer calligraphy blessings to help clear additional blockages in any of your spiritual channels. Extraordinary blessings are available. So, highly recommend you do that. How you find it, go to Dr. Shaw's website, click on Events, and then trace it down to Honolulu. And, uh, or you can go to the date, which is Saturday, Sunday. And also Friday is free. Definitely come to Friday, 6 to 9 Hawaii time. Uh, I know it's difficult for some of you, but do your best you can to make it. Individually, of course, I can offer blessings as much that I can do any of the divine channels. But this week, you know, I'm dedicated to support the Honolulu Center. Um, so let me read these final comments and then we'll, um, we'll finish. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Master Paul. Ah, no worries. Again, it's a huge blessing for me. Thank you, Monica. <clears throat> Dear Master Paul, I'm not sure uh, if I have third eye agenda on. May I ask you if appropriate if I do? Let me check. I'm getting a yes, actually, that you do have that, Monica. Yeah, I'm getting a yes. Um, and Arai... Um, thank you so much, Master Paul. You're welcome. And thank you, Ari, Ari, sorry, Ari. Uh, thank you for sharing when I, when I posted on your line today. Um, I appreciate that very much. So I will finish with a blessing for all of you. Please prepare. Make one request. And blessing begin. <clears throat> Silent blessing.
Thank you, thank you. Thank you all for coming. I'm so, so, so very grateful. Um, you truly make my day. Uh, truly, if I was not doing this every day, Monday through Friday, um, I probably would not be able to purify my uh, spiritual channels as I need to, to be a better servant. And so you are my servant just for showing up. I'm so very grateful in so many ways for all of you. <clears throat> Please let me know if I can do anything to assist you or your loved ones. I'm happy to put your name or their names on my altar and, and ask uh, all, the, all the, the holy beings, the Kaigon blessings in this painting to offer blessings to you and your family. I'm, I'm honored to do that for you. So until I see you next time, thank you so much. Please like, please comment, please share. Let as many people as possible see this. I hope to see you this weekend in the Honolulu uh, opening spiritual channels intensive. Love you all, and we'll see you tomorrow, same time. Aloha. Bye-bye.